Meine Damen und Herren, mein Name ist Richard. Ich werde diese Präsentation in Englisch geben, because when I speak German, I sound rather slow. But I do understand German and have to fit everything in 12 minutes, so if I'm going to speak German, I'm going to try and make one sentence forever. When I was asked to do this presentation, the original title was Why Does Your Design Suck? But then I had to go to a bit of a censorship over here, and I decided to focus more on the driver, what drives the digital design, which is your digital presence. And uh, this speech is not going to be how to improve text on Facebook or a tweet on Twitter or whatsoever. It's more My name is That guy, right now based in Hamburg, have three years experience. I work with local and global brands in Latvia, United Kingdom. That's where I also did my studies for my bachelor's and master's. Actually, now in Germany, I'm usually responsible for creating websites, web apps, mobile apps, social profiles such as Facebook, Twitter, Drawgame, YouTube, and whatever, whatever social networks out there, and also branding. And yes, before you ask, you can blame me for the whole 12 minutes me digital presence. Communication is shared. The, the post you don't like probably weren't coming from me. That's that guy in the corner responsible. So, in my three years of working, there are a few things that made me really frustrated because there are obstacles that reoccur all the time, the same challenges, the same things, doesn't matter how big brand is, how big it is, how well it has been established, it's always the same freaking mistakes. I've been asked to be polite. And, um, and this is, that's why I want to give this keynote to get this kind of off my chest. So the next designer you work with your brand or someone's working with you, you don't make kind of the same mistakes and you're prepared what, what could await you. But first of all, I would explain why digital is so important. A few years ago, I would say even five years ago, marketers thought that digital is not very important because they all, because tele still was dominating the market. And uh, people thought it's like, well, it's, it's a nice tool. People get on there. It's usually teens, you know, like the young ones. And at the same time, it's like a geek tool. So we're just going to invest a little bit of money, make it fun. It's, it's technology, let's say, a fad. But according to a, consult a consultancy in February 2013, 71% uh, of companies decided to invest more in digital marketing. I do hope they did. And, um, and yeah. Let's hope they did. And that's where you should put your money in in the future because, well, digital has become more important with smartphones and everything else. And uh, what, well, what is a digital presence? A digital presence, most people think, is what you own. Your website, your social profiles like Facebook, Twitter, but it's more than that. It's what other people are talking about you. For example, once you go out with your mates drinking and he takes a picture of you with a hooker and posts it on Facebook and tags you, that automatically becomes your digital presence. So there's a way how can you kind of avoid these things, and there are ways you can't avoid at all. There's still going to be crisis communication, but you can be prepared for it. So what is the first step you should consider? Well, the first baby step is content. Content is, well, the Satan, I mean the king and the Satan at the same time. How many of you here are designers? Two. How many have you worked with designers? Quite a bit. And you probably have asked how to create a website. So you receive a brief and you say, listen, I want a website, I want to have this, this, this in. But you don't have any content and the designer usually works with Laura Mipsum. End of the day, you receive the mock-up and you go like, or your client goes like, oh, I like this, but uh, I want to add this, add this, blah, blah, blah. And either the mock-up goes in the trash can and you create a new one, or your design looks better because the designer did the communication. So before you go online, you are the one, your brand is the one that speaks to the com community. It's not you who speaks. I mean, it's not the designer who speaks to the, to the audience. It's your brand. You should, be always, you should always know what you want to talk about because there's a reason when people say content is king. Second, revalue your resources. This is probably one of the most common mistakes I see from every brand. It doesn't matter what it is. I have gone through a few brand books and guidelines in my lifetime, well, lifetime, three years. And um, one thing that I've noticed is that they are focusing on print, how to look good on print, the logo positioning and all that crap. Traditional media is very standardized. There's always the same kind of layout, say the same kind of grid system for magazines, outside posters and so on. But for digital, well, digital comes in all forms and shapes. 
And um, the thing is, there's not always no pattern or no kind of visual, visual idea how your brand should look online. My favorite example, when they say, make it pretty, make it a premium feeling. What premium feeling? Is I mean, the Rolex website could, could be improved. I mean, you don't have the same feeling once you visit a website that is that premium product once you hold the actual watch. And the thing is, I mean, the world professional, the word professional in the world, and the word premium in design world doesn't exist. There's, I mean, you can look, anything look be professional. It could be childish professional, it can be professional professional like Apple technology professional and so on. There's too many diversities how it's supposed to be. So once you know what you want to get, Give you all kind of um, visual, visual examples where you want to go with your brand online. Thirdly, let traditional be traditional and digital be digital. So you have created an ice cream campaign, you have created flyers, outdoor, and then you remembered. I'm on Facebook. I want these guys to know what my great deals are as well. And you decide to put your bloody flyer on Facebook, which is a mistake. Because, I mean, I have seen this reoccurring by any brand that they go like, put such a small text that you can't read because the screen's too small. And the reason is, I mean, the reason how to avoid this is once you, once you say you want to create material for print, you could also say prepare for the digital world because most outdoor media or even traditional media is vertical position landscape, while your digital world is mostly horizontal. Like as you can see here, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google+, all have rectangles or squares, and there's even a circle, but that's Google+, Plus, so nobody really cares. <laughs> the fourth one is use bloody analytics. I shouldn't be even talking about this, but there are still people who don't use analytics. That's the, e I mean, I don't have a word for that. I mean, you want to reach an audience, yet you don't know who you're talking to. How is that even possible? I mean, if you like you're on your website, you want to focus on your basket, and you see people not clicking there. You can see that with analytics. Why? Where is the mouse movement? You can track everything. I mean, even with Facebook or Twitter, you can see which posts go through you. I mean, which posts do people like more? Which one's been shared most? So you can actually create. You say, all right, my community likes this. I can work on that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus more on that than on a crappy text content or whatever. The fifth step is break the rules. The thing is with the guidelines and brand books, I've read them so many times, they make me vomit. All these fancy words, how awesome my brand is, ooh, 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 it's so magical. No one cares. I mean, the things is like, I have seen great solutions, great ideas coming from clients when they want to reach, but they have these very strict bad brand guide, guidelines. They have to put logo there, let's put that copy over there, let's do that, let's do that, end of the day, the product doesn't read, I mean, the idea becomes half-assed. Uh, is asked a cuss word? No, thank you. And, uh, and it's just, I mean, you missed the point where you wanted at the beginning. And the worst thing is, when you want to actually brand everything, nobody cares about your brand online, and no one, unless you're Apple. Everyone loves Apple, except for Android people. And the thing is, you want to, like, I mean, I've seen some Facebook apps that have been working on the same. I'm guilty for it as well. When a, when a person says, put a brand over there, put a brand over there, put a brand over there. In one screen, you have, I mean, you, I'm already on the Facebook page. I'm using the application. I know that's that brand. And I have three times screaming the same bloody logo. I mean, no one cares. I just wanted to see what it's all about. I wanted to play the little game. So in conclusion, I could say, for, if you're not online, Try to understand what you need before you get online. Don't just get hooked on Facebook. Have a digital strategy for it. Has, have a communication plan. Same with your web page. Be ready to, like, to know what you want to talk about. And if you're already online, analyze your current digital presence and don't underestimate the internet. Like, don't think that you understand. No one does. Not even the professionals. The things that go viral, I would never predict I would go on viral. But sometimes they do. And always care about the end user. If you think that you're doing a well job, try to look at your pro of your brand, brand's digital presence in the sense that you would be the end user, that you would actually use it. And thirdly, be bold. No one likes a Mr. Me Too guy. Try something new, try different, try something that actually could work. But be respectful, don't attack your audience, give them something, because you can end up like Beyonce after the Super Bowl when she tried to remove those images. 
And thirdly, I mean, and lastly, don't be cheap with digital, please, because you don't want to have a half hassed like, like shit code done by some amateurs, freelancers, or whatever. And then, I mean, it just changes. I mean, the things I get sometimes makes me just go like, no, sorry, I don't want to work with you guys. So yeah, I guess I could teach you about something and I got one minute left, so yeah, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>